Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the second part of my running a sewer line video. Um, I kind of messed up and went ahead and cut my riser down uh, before I had my camera really set up and going. Uh, but that's the first step. You're going to cut this off, and you're going to watch out because there is going to be water in this. All right. The first thing you're going to want to do is get your reducer out, or um, your increaser, as I like to call it. But you buy this part, it's going to be called a reducer, and it's meant to go that way. You can never go down in size, only up. Uh, you have your pipe cut. You're going to want to clean these little burrs and stuff and get this uh, dirt trash out of here. Um, you're going to want to let this thing sit and let all that water get out of there because that water can mess up uh, your glue. Yeah, right when you come out of the house, you're going to want to go up to four inch. It's in the code. Always keep your level with you. And I did let this fall down a little bit. It's a quarter inch per foot, um, which is really hard for me to show on the level here. Uh, or some people call that a quarter of a bubble. But you want to be right on that. And I went ahead and cut cut these pieces. Remember, you don't want a hub to hub connection. You don't want any little short jammers. You want a good sized section. Make sure you, when you push this stuff together, you push it all the way up in there and give it a little twist and then you're going to want to hold it so it doesn't push off on you. And you just keep working your way down. Uh, the next thing you're going to want in line here is this backwater valve. Now when you're putting this together, take that flapper out. Take that lid off, take that flapper out to where you've just got that. What tends to happen is a little glue trail will run down this fitting. If that flapper's in there, it'll glue the bottom of it shut. Uh, water will go past it just fine and you won't notice on your test because most of the time when you're testing, you're just going to be testing with water. You're not going to be really flushing anything. Uh, it doesn't happen until later the homeowner moves in and they start flushing paper and stuff. It won't make it past that flap with that thing stuck down and you get a, uh, a leak the very first weekend somebody, or a clog, I'm sorry, the very first weekend somebody starts to move in and that never looks good for anybody. dries too much you're gonna to want to put your level on there and you're gonna want the top of that to be level you want this to be level now this you're gonna check for that quarter inch fall going down that way but I don't know if you can see I got a little bit of primer running down in there um, primers not gonna hurt it but if I had glue it would definitely glue it shut
Now normally this job here is pretty much up to the helper. The uh, leader of the crew, he's going to be on that excavator. He's going to be digging this ditch as, as we get this thing going. It's pretty much his job is to dig the hole for you while you glue the pipe together. almost done with the front end here. Um, now in my first video in part one uh, I used a Y um, which is typically standard practice the four inch Y. Uh, this is what they call a sanitary T um, and in between part one and part two here I had some of our sewer guys that, that do this kind of underground work all the time. They came over here and looked at what I had laid out and said we don't do it like that. We, we use a sanitary T. And they lay it on the back like this. Now, code took me a while to find it, but code typically says you can't you can't lay these things on their back like that uh, because they could get clogged and stuff. Uh, it's really only for traveling from a horizontal to a vertical uh, in your walls and stuff like that. And if you were going to use it as a vent, you can really only use this going the other way if it's a vent going out through the roof. Uh, but Using this for a clean out is perfectly fine. Uh, the code says you can use it on a dry vent. Well, you'd think most vents, you know, yeah, there's no, it's not a sink dumping onto a vent, so it's a dry vent. But you got to think, uh, there's hot, steamy moisture going up through those vents out the roof. There's a lot of condensate coming down. A pine straw or leaves can fall in there. And these things are prone to clog if you lay them on the back like this. But something like this, it's going to have a cap on top of it. It's never going to have any waste or water traveling in this direction. So it's perfectly fine to use this for a clean out. Um, the other thing is, this can get you closer to the ground where that Y was poking up and then had a 90 on it. And it's just one fit. But they threw me for a loop and I had to go do about a day's worth of research to find out if that was okay or not. And if you're using it for a clean out, it's perfectly fine to stand and lay it on its back. You're going to want to check this one too. You don't want your clean out sticking up like this or like that. You want it pretty close to being level. And then of course, check your fall heading that way. go to put this clean out cap on. See how high this thing is sticking up? Grade when they're finished here is probably going to be somewhere right around here. Um, but you don't know for sure. So you're going to want to let these things stick up a little high and then you're just going to want to put that cap on. Later on after the yard's finished when the trim out guy shows up, uh, he's going to take a little hammer and he's going to pop that cap off of there and then he's going to cut it down to ground level and then lower that clean out. Uh, so it's not sticking up and looking all weird. Of course, if these are right up against the side of the house and they're in a flower bed or a pine straw, uh, 
it, it's not so bad if you leave it sticking up just a little bit because that way years from now if there is a clog or something uh, a plumber can find it pretty easily uh, you don't want to bury these you want to keep them sticking up well that covers us pretty much for the front half here that's our reducer uh, our backwater valve and our little clean out riser here now normally what I do finish the sewer line come put that in last let that glue completely dry uh, from here I'm just gonna have some straight pipe running until we get down to the end Those large sections of uh, four inch can be kind of heavy, kind of awkward. But remember as you go, you're gonna pull out your little level and check it. It's supposed to be right at a quarter inch fall the whole way. Ooh. Now, you are going to kind of want to bend this stuff as you go, that level with you. Now, if you have to step down, you can step down with 245s. If, you're, if your uh, grade is just too steep to get to your tap, you can step down with 245s. Uh, but you can't go more than like, I think it's five feet, four or five feet. But most of the time on residential stuff, it's pretty flat. Now you can do the whole sewer line out of that 30, 34 pipe or the um, SDR 35, that green pipe. But we do the schedule 40 uh, PVC and the reason for that is, is so we can run our water line next to it you uh, can't run the water line next to that uh, 3034 pipe And remember, when you're putting these fittings together, you do want to hang on to this pipe for a little while for the first couple of seconds uh, because it will push off. And something I noticed when I was doing my slab videos on the film here, a lot of times this stuff looks weird and crooked uh, because the perspective's off a little bit. Um, but trust me, I check everything. Now down here at the end, here's our tap. Um, this can be kind of tricky because this is when you're kind of putting it together. Uh, you're not just starting a new run, you're actually tying two things together, kind of in the middle. Uh, and that can be kind of tricky. Uh, but this is where, whew, my fitting's laid out here and got pollen and stuff all over them. Uh, but this is where your, sanitary tea comes in. Now this one here is a little bit different than the other one. 
This one is actually set up for this 3034 pipe. Um, it's got a thinner um, wall, it's smaller on the inside. Uh, there's two ways to do this. You can transition to this at the base. There's a special coupling for that. Um, or you can transition beforehand. And it depends on whether or not you're going to need an elder valve. Um, or if you're just dropping straight in. There's also another device called a trap stop. Which the trap stop is just like this. It just, it glues straight down into the top there. But you do this long enough, you can kind of look at it and tell what's going on. Adapter. Left my glue. Now I've got plenty of fall here. Uh, if you can, reuse what you got. As long as it ain't been laying out there in the sun too long, it ain't been run over. Um, Yeah, you can use the same glue. It's no different special glue for this stuff. Just try not to get it all over you. Try to get the plug out of this thing, but it ain't working for me. Remember, this thing is directional. This is also kind of like a sanitary tea itself. Now, you're going to have to check with the the city, the town, the county, whoever you're dealing with, to see if you need an elder valve or a trap stop. Some of them may not require it. I got that thing stuck in there. 
Um, Now when you're doing this, you're not gonna have that plug in there. That was a mistake I made. And with this guy, just like the other clean out you had, don't glue that cap down because somebody's gonna come along once the grading's done and lower that thing for you. Now here's the trick. This next section of pipe, you're gonna wanna cut it exactly to the length to where you can pop that right down on there. Well, I'm gonna have to go back up the way here and uh, bed this thing down and check it, um, check the grade on it as I go. I, I know I'm, I'm falling, but I got a little belly up there because I lifted this up a little bit, but I got plenty of fall. Uh, this is normally a two to three person job, uh, but I think I did all right by myself. The next thing you would have to finish it off would be another clean out. Uh, and I ran out of caps, so, um, but that's basically how it's going to look. Uh, now at this point, we're going to bed the pipe, uh, we're going to check our grade with our level, and then the very last thing we're going to do, if this is a rough end, our tubs have water, they're all full of water, it's part of the test, we're going to go in that rough end, 
and we're going to pop all those tubs open. And what that's going to do is it's going to dump a bunch of water down our sewer line and wash out any leftover dirt um, or anything that might be in there. Uh, and then we're going to put the cap on. Now this thing's going to want to, they're going to want to inspect it, so we're going to leave our ditch open. We're just, we're going to bed the sides down and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Hopefully it doesn't rain in between our install and the inspection uh, because a lot of times, you know, there's no water in this pipe. If this ditch fills up with water, the pipe will float. And if it floats, um, then you're going to have bellies and high points and things like that, and it'll mess you up later on. But generally the inspectors are pretty quick, uh, and then you could be out there the next day and cover all this stuff up and uh, go do about four or five more of them. All right, well, I almost forgot. Uh, you gotta put some tracer wire on your sewer line that way they can locate it later. Uh, and this is a special wire, it's just a solid copper core and it's green. <coughs> um, and you're pretty much just gonna take this wire and duct tape it. Do your first clean out. And then you're gonna run it. down your pipe all the way down the length of it to the end, duct taping it every so often. Uh, of course, the tape's just there to hold it for now. I mean, this is going to have dirt filled over the top of it, so it's not going to really matter. Uh, but then you're going to get down to your last clean out down there, the city tap, and you're going to pop up just like this um, for your tracer wire. Um, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I think we covered everything, and uh, good luck out there.